Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I wanted to share a small haul with uh, with you all. I um, I love tattered lace, you guys. I love the dyes that are made by tattered lace. And a lot of the dyes that I buy... Um, most of the time, by the time I even find them, they're retired, they're no longer in stock, so either I have to buy them used, every once in a while I'll be able to buy them brand new, because um, I'm always late to the party, but uh, I, I shop on eBay for, uh, especially when I'm looking for a retired dye, and I happened to be on eBay and someone had this tattered lace notebook, it's a dye uh, storage notebook, and it was brand new, it, or it is brand new, and I think I paid under $50 for it, and I wanted it not so much for the notebook, but because of uh, two of the dies that were in here that were retired, uh, but it ended up coming with 14 dies, so I want to share with you what they look like. Anyway, this is brand new, and it does come with the pockets for the dies. So it is a three ring binder and these had dies in them but I took them all out so I could share them with y'all. This one has a split pocket so it's got different pockets. This is also a split one uh, but I cut some of it out not all of it. So it came with, let me put this aside, it came with this corner die. I have not cut it out so I don't know what it looks like. I hope I'm in frame and it also came with this uh, radiant butterfly die. And I haven't cut that one out either. It also came with this one didn't have a uh, the package to it. So I'm not sure if there's artwork to it or not. But this is one of the ones that was in there. And I haven't cut it out. But most of these are new. There's this uh, lush foliage. And then there was this baby elephant border one. That I haven't cut out either. And now this is normally something that I would not buy. So I didn't buy it for any for these types of uh, dies or this one. It's not really something I would buy the little and it's tiny. It's called Little Monster Owl. But look at the beautiful bow and that I did cut out. It's called the Exquisite Bow. This is no longer available, but there it is cut out. How pretty that is. It's beautiful. So that one. This one's really nice. The uh, And I love something like this to cut out. Maybe in a gold if I was trying to build uh, like a flower arrangement to go around uh, a, a card or a round frame or an oval frame. So this would be a great starter base for that. Then I could build on top of this. So that one came in there. This one too, this is called Vintage Ornament. And I see it's got two little birds right there. It's hard to tell, but it does have two little birds there. So that was in there. I mean, when I tried, when I figured it out, I ended up paying like $3 and change for each item that was in here. So that was a really good deal. And then this one was in there. And this one has like ivy leaves and then the little blossoms. And then this little shoe. And this one looks like it was maybe came in a magazine. And uh, so it's not available unless you had the magazine. But it's not very big. Look at that. It's so pretty. And I haven't cut that one out either. So I don't even know. Maybe we'll cut that one out. What do y'all think? I'll cut that one out for y'all. It should not take me more than a... In a minute, I've got, just got to find a scrap piece of paper, and I'm just going to cut it out in white. Here, we'll put it here. And let's cut it out so we can see what that one looks like. And usually my machine is, is right to my uh, right, so uh, my machine is always ready to go. I don't know how uh, y'all cut, but I have the Anna Griffin, and I have the Mini, and I have the big one, the Impress, and I cut into the magnetic sheet um, 
and I like it because one I don't I think because of the cushiony of the ma the magnet sheet it doesn't uh, wear and tear put so much wear and tear on the die as if I were cutting into a metal or a hard surface that doesn't have any give so let's run this through and that's why I like cutting into that even though I have to replace those uh, it takes me a while before I need to replace it it does take me a while and I always when I take off my plate I flip it so not only did I turn it the other way but I also flipped it up, up upside down so um, that keeps my plate from warping Look, it cut beautifully. And let's take the Dallas. I'm on, I'm recording. And let's take the shoe out. I'm recording, son. Oops. So look at how pretty that is. That's very very pretty. So it cut really nice. No problems there. And there it is, the little shoe. This would be beautiful like in a gold or something. And all the little bits and pieces that were um, supposed to come out looks like they cut really well. I'm not going to poke them out. There's only a couple of them. But it did cut very well. So there's that one. Let me move that aside and put this back in here. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put this one in here. See? In the contrast in the blue, you can see it better. So it cut really nice. I'll just put that in there. And then this is the reason I bought it. The two uh, ladies right here. It is in a split pocket. And one's Mary and one's Eliza. And, they, it, um, and I cut these out. And I'll share with you what they look like just in white. There's what they look like just in white. And you can color these in or you can paper piece them. But you still will have to color them in for the flesh tone in the face and maybe the neck, the arms. Uh, so I cut it out. I cut these out for my friend in different color, in white, then several colors in uh, pearl paper. So she can paper piece them, both styles. And I'm going to share with you what those look like cut out. What did I do with them? Here is what they look like paper pieced. Look how pretty that is. Is that gorgeous or what? So what I did is I cut it out in the white and I colored in what was supposed to be skin tone and the hair. And then I cut it out in a pearlized color paper and I cut off like I snipped off the hat because it does have little cut lines that you can snip off portions of it. So I cut off the hat and the, the gown, the little bow right here. And um, then I inlaid a, I glued a piece of uh, my glitter paper that I just had handy here on my desk. I always use a lot of scraps. Uh, same piece that I used on my snow globe. And then I uh, did the dress over it. So it's beautiful it, and it's pretty in the back as well because I sandwiched the glitter paper in between the two layers of uh, paper. Because I don't like when it looks like little patches in the back. So there is one. And I love the way she looks. And then I did this one in a very light pink. Again, sandwiching the glitter paper in between the pearl paper and the white. And um, colored in her skin tone, her hair. And then I just snipped off pieces to for the pink dress, for the pink hat. And then I actually took uh, the piece that I layered in the back. I did cut the feather off because I wanted to put the white feather on top of her hat. But it still doesn't look bad. But I think they look really, really pretty. So that was the reason why I bought the, the set. And it does come with another die. This one says that a card. I cut it out. And what did I do with it? I did cut it out. Here it is. This one says, this isn't just a card, it's a hug inside a fold. So that's what this die says. But it cut out really nice.
So it might not be something I would have bought, but you know, it came all included in the in the package that I bought. But all in all, I'm happy with my purchase. I think I got a good deal, and uh, the seller was even able to work with me to send it to me in in a more economical way because normally when you purchase from the UK they have like global shipping and it's really really high for us but sometimes you can uh, message a seller and they will take it off of there and then they will just send it royal mail which is a lot more economical anyway guys that is all that I had to share with y'all today I was going to do this earlier and kind of got sidetracked and didn't get it done but now it's done but I hope that you like what I purchased and again um, a lot of places where you can buy some of these uh, dyes that are discontinued would be like eBay sometimes you can find them on Amazon sometimes you can find them on Etsy you know there's different places that you can find them and also Tattered Lace now is selling their own dyes in their own website as well and even though they are in the UK they do ship to the US Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day. And um, God bless. Bye.